we need a clearer day to be able to put on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And those are still the best measurements of the month. Hi, Josh. How are you? How are you? So, can you see it? Uh, it's like a, it's like a right now, I think we might be able to do it. I'm just going to get a few low down. So you're looking for a black dot, and it looks kind of like this, just like with the boy. But there are a few pinpoints. Some of them are pretty good, and others. Mercury right now is passing between the Earth and the Sun, and we're here to witness that. Michael Gaines from Art and Art History, who's just down the way over there, he provided some of his telescopes with solar filters to uh, watch this rare event. And it's uh, truly fantastic that we have the equipment here, and uh, there's been a lot of enthusiasm this morning, so we're having a lot of fun. Fortunately, we're being thwarted by astronomer's worst enemy, clouds. This is visible from most of the Earth. Any place the sun is up, you can see this. And it's being seven and a half hours long. Uh, there are lots of parts of the Earth that see not the whole thing, but uh, part of it. The size of Mercury is only about one-sixth right now of, of what the human eye can resolve. So uh, it's, there's not really any hope of seeing it without some sort of uh, uh, magnification. We're seeing the night side of, of Mercury, so you're not going to see any anything on the surface in any case. Dark dot. It's not very bright right now. Oh yeah. There's something there. As you as you're looking at the sun, oh, wherever okay. eight o'clock would be if that were if that were the clock dot. Okay. There's, there's a small little dot. Oh yeah. There's a larger one that's up around maybe two o'clock. That's the sunspot. <clears throat> Lo and behold, it went right across our backyard. So all, all I had to do was get up early. That's mostly what it is. But there's just a little morning.